What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 super useful expressions. As you may know, I love making videos on useful expressions because I believe that learning chunks of vocabulary can improve our fluency and prevent us from translating. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook, open your section for expressions, and let's kick off! So the first expression on my list today is I won't be long. It means that I'll be ready, I'll arrive or be back soon. We can change the subject. And we can say, for example, it won't be long, or he won't be long, or she won't be long, etc. And let's look at some examples. The first one, I'm gonna pop to the supermarket. I won't be long. To pop is a commonly used British verb, and it's usually used with different prepositions, like to pop in, into, to, out, and it means to go somewhere briefly. And one more example, I'll keep the meeting short and sharp. I promise it won't be long. The expression short and sharp means quick and concise. Let's move on to our second expression. I've had enough. And if you want, you can also say of something. You can explain what you've had enough of. So it means that you are tired, angry or unhappy with a situation and you want it to change for the better or improve. And now a few examples. The first one, I've had enough. I'm not going to just sit and wait until something good happens in my life. I'm gonna go for my dreams. And one more example, I've had enough of this heat. Next summer, I'm going somewhere cooler. It's so hot in Valencia in summer. Let's move on to our third expression. I'm all over the place. It means that I'm disorganized and I find it difficult to concentrate and focus. And now, a few examples. The first one, when I'm all over the place, I find it helpful to tidy up my workspace. What about you? What helps you concentrate when you are all over the place? And one more example, when I sleep little, I'm usually all over the place. True story. I need to sleep my eight hours to feel good. Number four, the expression, you had it coming. It means that something negative happened to you and you deserve it because you did something wrong. We can also change the subject and we can say she had it coming, he had it coming and so on. And this expression is very similar to it serves you right. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, he was arriving late at work, being unprofessional and rude with his colleagues. He's been fired today. He had it coming. And one more example, he risked his life to take the perfect selfie. As a result, he broke his arm. Sorry to hear that, but he had it coming. Number five, one of my favorites, you're a star. We can use it in two different occasions. The first one, it's a synonym of thank you. Another way to say thanks. For example, thanks for picking me up at the airport. You're a star. It's like, thank you for helping me. You are the best. And the second use of you're a star is you rock. You did something great or you succeeded in something. Congrats. For example, I've got an A in my CPE exam. Your star. And guys, before we continue and learn five more expressions, just a quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits 
and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. You're a star. And now let's continue with our lesson, our expression number six, don't hold your breath. What do you think it means? So this expression means don't expect something to happen because it probably won't. It's a similar expression to don't get or build your hopes up. And now two examples. The first one, although the interview went well, I wouldn't hold my breath. There are so many candidates. And one more example, if you expect him to settle down, don't hold your breath. Number seven, that's a no-brainer. It means that something such as a decision is very easy and obvious. This academic year, there will be a video on my channel on 11 synonyms to say it's very easy. And this expression will be there. For example, this guy is a keeper. That's a no-brainer. If you want to know what to be a keeper means, check out one of my super old videos. Click on the pop-up link. And one more example, you should watch my weekly lesson. That's a no-brainer. Number eight, I've got a C2 expression for you. Drop it, or we can also say drop the subject. It means stop talking about something because you find it annoying or upsetting. And now a few examples to put it in context. The first one, I've already apologized. Can we just drop it now? And one more example, I don't want to talk about him anymore. Let's drop the subject. Tomorrow to go, number nine, same old, same old. It means that everything remains the same, especially when it's boring and unpleasant. Nothing changes, nothing exciting happens. Same old, same old. The first example, how are things going? Same old, same old. And one more example, are they getting along better? Same old, same old. There is still a lot of tension between them. And last but not least, I've got a super cool expression for you. Have a good one. What do you think it means? Have a good one. It's really, really coming. So when someone tells you have a good one, it means goodbye. So it's a cooler way to say bye. Have a good one. And two examples. The first one, it was nice meeting you. Have a good one. And one more example, gotta go, have a good one. And here we've got a bonus expression, gotta go, which means I have to leave. You can say gotta go or gotta run. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And I really hope you learned a few new expressions. Please let me know in the comments below which expression is your favorite. In my case, I love your star, gotta go and have a good one. And guys, if you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a little bit of love and support by clicking the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. Thank you for having watched this lesson and see you next week. Have a good one.